Uh, this will be a follow-up to the last draft science video, which uh, was pretty flawed. Uh, they're not intended to be instructional because I'm just, you know, messing around with thoughts in my head. So uh, lots of inaccuracies possible. Um, and um, yeah, I know you could just look this stuff up and all that kind of crap, but I kind of want to do it without looking it up because then it's probably going to be um, a more original way of looking at it. Is part of the problem um, is that we have two ways of observing as we observe things, um, you know, particles and, and, and waves, functions anyway. Um, one of them is like sound through a medium, which is very different, you know, sound travels through something, some kind of matter, um, and, uh, you know, the rest of this electromagnetic spectrum thing, which doesn't travel through a medium at least the medium we are aware of. We can only speculate on whether space is itself not necessarily empty, but a medium through which energy travels. Um, so all, all energy could theoretically be just a vibration through space, um, you know, but that's sort of what I'm trying to um, put together in my head, is just a, a representation of what um, space is and uh, you know what energy is, um, or a way of looking at it. So anyway, the 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 wave function thing it gets a little bit complicated because um, what sound does, sound can compress, um, you know, uh, uh, the matter in front of it. So it's through that compression that you get the illusion of a sine wave. And what you're, I mean, what it's it's more a, a reflection, so the sine wave would be the thing that looks like this, um, which you know could just be drawn looking like this. <laughs> you know, it doesn't look <clears throat> quite as interesting when you do it this way. Um, this way, so I'll mark it with a circle <clears throat> because my mouse doesn't show up, which is sort of irritating. <laughs> um, but that doesn't look quite as interesting. But I mean, the idea would be is that as the sound is initiated, you know, the vibration, the movement, it compresses um, the matter or the energy or the particles in front of it and that you get full compression at some point and then as the wavelength passes then it relaxes again. So it's like a real rubber band effect. So there's, there's a, a certain impact as it's compressing and then a decompression. And so the sine wave would basically be a reflection of the compression and decompression of the matter. Okay, so that clears that up, maybe sort of. But in real physics, you know, that isn't through a medium, um, you know, the idea of compressing the space sounds nice, but I don't know if that's really um, a practical possibility. So I'm just trying to come up with some digital way to represent what happens um, are a particle way, a particle explanation of the wave function, which sounds, well, never mind. <clears throat> anyway, so there's, what it comes down to is that there's, so there's particles, so here's a stream of particles, and um, for them to, there's only two things you can't affect in, in physics, you can't affect the speed, so they're all going to travel at the same speed. So, uh, you know, gamma rays and light rays and radio waves, they're all traveling in microwaves and whatever other kind of wave you want to come up with on the whole electromagnetic spectrum that includes visible light, which is just a tiny little bar somewhere in here. Um, but anyway, <coughs> um, yeah, my mouse doesn't work, I remember that. All right, um, so they're all moving at the same speed, Every, you know, so the particles themselves are the speed is always constant. So the only thing you can change is the distance between them or you can change their size. You know, make them bigger or make them smaller. Okay, so well that's all you got is size and distance. Um, I think. I mean there's nothing else you could really change. So if like in, in radio waves, the way I explained it before was kind of really sloppy. Um, what's happening is 
in, in say AM radio, I would speculate that what's taking place is the size of the particles from is being slightly changed. Not not a huge amount, but just a slight change in the size of from particle to particle in the stream. And there's that and that's how the information is transferred. So you'd have a, a difference in in the energy level of the particle, which I would just say that has to have something to do with its mass or how much how its size. I mean, I'm just using size as a cheap way of indicating its mass. And so by reg you know, by changing the size of the particle each time slightly, just very slightly, you can you can in you can incorporate information regarding the a signal that you're hiding in this stream of particles. Then the other thing to change would be the distance. And so in FM radio, instead of changing the size of the particles so the particles would all be the same, um, it's hard to get the same size particles, but just say these are all the same size, you would slightly, just slightly change the distance between them. So just very slight differences. And so when you when you're receiving the signal, um, you know, with some sort of receiving device, um, you what you do is end up taking a whole band, a whole group of frequencies. So from like, um, you know, 50. It's hard to draw. 50 megahertz to like 70 megahertz, and you would take all those bands, and and. In, and the, how you would detect the signal is to detect subtle differences in the frequency between those bands. So um, that's how the, that, so that's how it would be incorporated. The information would be incorporated in the frequency change between the distance between each particle's arrival would be where you're indicating the infor where you're hiding the piece of information. And because these things are moving at it speeds so much faster than um, the information you're putting on them, like the amount of information per second. So since you have so many of these things coming by per second, it's always going to be a really high number. I mean, you know, millions of them per second. Obviously, in a million things, you could hide a lot of information if you have a million digital bits of information you can incorporate a lot of information in that million bits and that's so I guess what I'm arguing is is that space is digital um, and compression in a in a, um, uh, a material substance is more analog so when a signal is created in a in, a, in atmospheres for example when I talk um, I can create a sine wave that has an analog element to it because the compression is going to be varied, and it's not—it's not as time relevant. Um, but particles, their their speed is a constant to the speed of light, and so that takes a, so it makes it more of a digital. But you don't notice the digital because it's such that there's so many bits of information that you don't notice the fact that it's been digitized because the bit rate is so high. I guess that's a good way to put it. So it's like when we, like this, this video has been digitized, so it's been turned into a digital signal, and it's not great because we, don't, it's, don't, we aren't able to broadcast a high enough bit rate, but you, you can get the same effect as an audio signal used to. I mean, uh, um, a, um, <laughs> I'm forgetting the word, uh, but non-digital, the opposite of digital, analog. So you can get the same information the same impression, the same effect, basically, as an uh, as a signal that's not digital. So anyway, so I hope that clarified something. Probably didn't, but that's okay. So anyway, I'm still thinking. So I don't know if I'll do another one until these I do some better thinking. So, but anyway, it's been fun. I'll post a link um, to um, you know I think he's a Scottish guy living in England, but whatever. He's got a pretty good accent. Um, but uh, yeah, he sort of he's posted a couple of response videos and uh, seems an interesting guy. His name's James, but his screen name is Ter Terrace or something. So. Um
maybe have to say a screen name just so I know what it is. Uh, but anyway, um, he's sort of an interesting person. And so I'll post a link to him because he's sort of interesting. And we'll see where he goes. So anyway, I don't know. Draft science. Really, draft. Draft. Remember, the key word is draft, assholes. Draft.